is it feasible or desirable according to you that in 2024 the AAP and the Congress should fight together as part of a grand India alliance or do you believe that the Congress is making a mistake by trusting the Aam Aadmi Party? Uh, Rajiti, feasible, yes. I mean, feasible is, is, is a word uh, that's easy. Uh, anything is feasible. So I think if you want to have an alliance, alliance will happen. Uh, whether uh, Aam Aadmi Party votes get transferred to the Congress or Congress's votes get transferred to the Aam Aadmi Party, that is how, uh, you know, it depends on the chemistry between the leaders and what is the kind of primacy you give to different parties and what is the overall agenda you build in. Whether it is desirable, that is the question. As far as I am personally concerned, it is not desirable. I think we are doing fairly well in most of the states. Uh, like, you know, uh, Punjab, for example, I, you know, I don't think anybody will uh, call for an alliance because Aam Aadmi Party is today in the assembly the number one party, Congress is the number two. Uh, and therefore, the seats in the 13 seats in the Lok Sabha will be divided between the Aam Aadmi and party and the Congress. And if it, one of us doesn't fight in any of the states and there's alliance, mm -hmm. you'll automatically give space to BJP to become the number two party in the state. So I think it'll fairly be politically naive and stupid for either of these parties to have any alliance in Punjab. Because in any case, those 13 seats would be mostly, maybe maximum one or two seats will be taken by the BJP or Kalidal. It will go to the India mm -hmm. alliance. As far, the, so the only question comes is Delhi. And as I said, it's feasible in Delhi. Whether it will have desirable results, I'm not very sure. Obviously, uh, you know, uh, one plus one hopefully will make three and not just two. But as far as I'm personally concerned, I don't mm -hmm. think it is desirable. It's not desirable for the Congresses strengthening itself in India or the northern India. And in the long run, you know, it could be problematic for us. So, in conclusion, is your view a minority view? Do you believe that a majority of the Congress party, especially at the leadership level, shares your concern? Or is Sandeep Dixit a bit of an outlier when he says, let's not have anything to do with the Aam Aadmi Party, no difference between BJP and AAP? Okay, uh, uh, let me be honest. I, I, I'm not really in touch with many of the Delhi leaders and I've not been very active in Delhi Congress for a long period of time. So I can't really say with confidence. I know the leaders I have spoken to. Uh, th there are one, only one or two who are active on the social media world and have conveyed their viewpoint that they are not for this alliance. Uh, generally, when I speak to leaders and uh, the leaders that I know I've been in touch with and whenever we have our personal thing, uh, I find, a, I won't even say a majority, a near unanimous belief that no, we must not have anything to do with the Aam Aadmi Party. But I think uh, uh, what the high command will decide, what equations they will have in front of them, what will be the pressure of other uh, you know, partner parties in the India Alliance, all that will have to be seen. But all I can say, and I can say with a lot of confidence, is that the leaders I know in Delhi, the people I am in touch with and who converse with me with a sense of confidence and, and, and a kind of a personal trust, uh, I haven't seen anybody who advocates for an alliance. So, how much of this though, Sandeep Dixit, is because Arvind Kejriwal took on your late mother, Sheila Dixit, and uh, in a way toppled her government uh, or defeated her in elections and formed the government first in 2013 and of course then 2015 onwards. How much of this animus, if I may use the word against Arvind Kejriwal, is because of what happened in that period? It is, we are now in 2023. Are you still living with the scars of what happened between 2013 and 15? Look, everybody lives with whatever scars they have. So if I deny that, uh, you know, I don't want to lie and I don't, normally don't make these, uh, you know, politically correct, uh, sweet statements all the time. Everybody has their scars. But my problem in Amadmi is not the fact that they just defeated us. It's the kind of politics that they exercise of untruth, of wrong, of cheating, of, uh, of vile words. Uh, they are really the first people who cheapened, uh, you know, uh, uh, Rashtrawadi politics and brought it onto the field. They were the first people who started using the tricolor to divide people politically. They are the first people who started using the slogan of Bharat Mata on the streets to make it a political slogan like that, the slogan of pride for all Indians. So there's hardly any wrong that is there in politics today that does not have its roots in either the India against corruption movement or in the way and manner in which they did so. They are the first people, 
many of us, I mean, I've seen sometimes some of you also saying so, that often the Prime Minister makes claims without facts. The Prime Minister derides his opponents without uh, you know, any merit in his uh, things and he, and he makes claims to things that he is not really his. Who's really uh, you know, almost a kind of a grandfather of his in almost everything of this? It is Arvind Kejriwal. So if you look at the, the politics of Kejriwal, mm -hmm. the style of the Aam Admi Party, then I think it's a very, very big problem. We cannot encourage politics of this kind. And as far as I'm concerned, obviously there will be a personal baggage also that I carry. There's a personal baggage that everybody carries. Okay? But apart from that, uh, if, I, if, I, if you want a serious so, opinion, I think they are far more dangerous to India's polity than any other party or any other person is. And the kind of traditions they put on ground are going to be dangerous. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if eventually the India alliance does take off and Arvind Kejriwal, Rahul Gandhi share a platform and Delhi does see seat sharing between Congress and AAP, will you continue to remain in the Congress or will you, is this an issue where you will break with the party that you have been part of? No, no, I'm a congressman. I'm a congressman, uh, more uh, a congress person than I think most of the other congress person I meet. Okay? And it is my sworn duty and my belief that I tell the party whatever I feel is right. Ultimately, whatever the party decides, obviously we'll follow that. I mean, there's no issue about that is concerned. But I, I'm not somebody who will not say things in public or to my party leaders, whether it suits them or not. I, I've been known to say my things. I may have suffered because of that. In fact, remain on the margins of my party because often I'm supposed to be even irresponsibly open with my views. That's not my concern. I say what I feel like. Let me give you an example, Radhiji. You know that I was for this ordinance that came across, right? And I've been saying that uh, this ordinance should be passed. But as yes. I always said, that suppose I were a member of the Raj Sabha or a member of the Lok Sabha, right? And while the fact that I support the ordinance, okay, if it had come to vote for it, my vote belongs to my party. I would not have been a member of parliament if I have not been a member of the Congress party. So I would have voted for whatever is the three-line whip my party would have given that. In that sense, uh, uh, in the ultimate mm -hmm. analysis, I will follow what my party leaders tell me. Because I sometimes feel that maybe, you know, because they are in a senior position, uh, maybe they have a slightly greater wisdom or a hindsight that I may not be having at that particular point of time. Right. As far as leaving the Congress is concerned, there is no way. Uh, you might find me the last man standing in the party and so it will be. So what you are telling us that if you had to advise Malikarjun Kharge and Rahul Gandhi, you would advise them, it is not desirable in your view to go ahead with an alliance with AAP in the 2024 elections. Am I correct? Yes, if, if I'm ever asked. Uh, let me also put in yesterday's meeting, no such question was asked okay. and this topic was not even discussed. But if I'm ever asked, whether by them or anybody senior in the party, that's the, the I will give my reasons for it. Uh, you know, uh, there are many more reasons for it. I mean, we can't really uh, put all of them across to you in this uh, TV interview. I'll put my reasons across to them.